Hi everyone and welcome to the next episode of the Explain series with the host Dr. Brett Palmer and today we're going to be talking about human wine decanting. Yes, it's, um, it's an odd one this one, uh, but I thought it was quite an interesting uh, paper that someone sent to me and it's um, uh, a paper from the Infectious Diseases in Clinical Practice and this is the paper. I'll try and leave a link to it if I remember uh, at the bottom and it's volume 23, number 6, November 2015 and it's, um, it was a patient that was admitted to uh, ICU he was in his um, early 20s and he eventually ended up having a kidney infection uh, due to E. coli uh, then up having um, a bacteria and septic shock is when the infection travels all around the body and it's very very dangerous sepsis you can die from it um, and so it's something to be taken very very seriously uh, so he was admitted to ITU with pyelonephritis septic shock and uh, positive blood cultures for gram negative um, E. coli infection and on his history, when a detailed history was taken, it was described that he had uh, been doing something called decanting. And this is a process at which uh, the guy was in a uh, uh, effectively a sex party and he would go into a back room, he would self catheterize or put a catheter into his bladder uh, to empty out all of his urine. And then he would fill his bladder with wine, usually red wine. Uh, he would remove the catheter and return to the party and fill guests empty wine glasses uh, from his penis with the wine uh, sequestered uh, in his bladder and he always received uh, very good generous uh, ca cash tips for uh, such a service and obviously once his bladder was empty he would go around the back and uh, refill and uh, repeat this process or this technique again and again uh, throughout the whole evening. Uh, however, at this particular time, uh, a few days uh, after his most, recant, uh, most recent decanting uh, party, uh, he ended up in uh, ICU uh, with uh, sepsis. Um, he got better with two weeks of uh, antibiotics, uh, superfloxacin, uh, but I thought that was a very, very interesting uh, paper. And I think something uh, on this particular paper, one thing we can all learn from this, and I think we can all learn by um, not putting wine in your bladder. Uh, so I thought it was an interesting paper, but uh, yeah, keep on sending them to me. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. See you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.